What's up guys, it's Kaze here. So this past Friday, The Rock finally decided to give us a break from his seemingly never ending trolling, and it was on Roman and Cody to kinda carry the storyline this week. Leading into this year's WrestleMania, up until this point, Cody and Roman haven't had too many memorable interactions with each other. Like when Cody won the Royal Rumble, he pointed at Roman, and they were also face to face when Cody seemingly gave his spot away to The Rock, and of course we have the kickoff show. But even that ended with The Rock slapping Cody, so the headline was that instead of anything Cody and Roman did. This week was an opportunity for Roman and Cody to actually sell their own feud. So Roman Reigns was on the Pat McAfee show, and he said a few things that were pretty interesting and I wanted to bring up. Now Pat McAfee actually referenced the fact that The Rock's thumb is always up when he's doing the bloodline hand signal. He even pointed out a fan holding a sign in the background warning Roman about The Rock turning on him at WrestleMania. So Pat asked Roman why he wanted to face The Rock so bad instead of Cody. And Roman calls Cody a bum, but he also says that if he beat The Rock, there's nothing anybody could ever question that he's done in the WWE. And Cody took that from him. He then goes on to call Cody a politician, and he calls Cody the crybaby for wanting to steal the spotlight. Now, I say all this to say everybody can't wait for The Rock to turn on Roman at WrestleMania, but what if Roman turns on The Rock? It's just a theory. Hear me out, hear me out, like and subscribe. But Roman has more of a reason to turn on The Rock than The Rock does turning on Roman. The entire reason that The Rock is even in a feud with Cody and Seth is because he's defending his family's honor. So why would he turn on his family at the end of WrestleMania? And I also see this theory going around that Cody has been working with The Rock the entire time. I don't think that makes a lot of sense either. In these weekly promos, The Rock has been talking crazy about Cody's family history, his dog, and even his mom. So how would Cody as a character look if he just let a man talk about his family, dog, and mother on live television and on social media just to win a championship? Like that just doesn't really fit his character. Not only that, but they've acknowledged, no pun intended, that everybody that Roman has aligned himself with turns on him on screen. So I'm saying that Roman is already aware that everyone he aligns himself with turns on him, so what if he does it first this time? This would explain why the signs are so obvious. This would explain why there's so much foreshadowing. This would explain so much as far as The Rock coming in and just running the entire show, taking over the entire feud. And it's been shown on screen plenty of times that Roman is not pleased with how much of the spotlight that The Rock is taking. The Rock was also the one that issued the challenge for the tag team match with the stipulation. So if they lose that match and Roman loses to Cody because the bloodline wasn't involved, that would be The Rock's fault. More of a reason for Roman to be upset at The Rock. And that's just storyline wise. If we look at it booking wise, The Rock isn't going to lose his first match after 10 plus years, but Roman also needs to remain looking strong up until that match inevitably happens. So to have The Rock turn on him and he loses his title doesn't have him looking too strong until the next time these guys meet. This would also still turn The Rock back face. Like in the realm of the storyline, he put his entire public image out on the line. He completely disrespected another man's family, all because of the love of his own family and he still got screwed over by his family. I think that's a pretty compelling storyline within itself. Let me know in the comments if you think I'm right though. I could be overthinking the whole thing, who knows. So on SmackDown, Cody and Roman face off. By the way, Roman's entrance was a respectable three minutes and 38 seconds. Roman starts off by calling Cody stupid. And he calls him stupid because he thinks with his heart and not his head. Roman then mentioned the fact that Cody aligned himself with Seth Rollins and at a certain point, Roman thought Seth was family, and we all know how that ended. And I'm done with the theory talk, but this is one of those moments I was talking about where he is aware that people usually turn on him. Cody says he knows all about the Shield. In fact, the first people to beat the Shield for the Tag Team Championships was Cody and Goldust with Dusty Rhodes at ringside. And I appreciate that they're implementing that history. That was actually one of my favorite Raw moments of that era. Cody asks Roman if he could trust The Rock, and Roman says that's a tired line. It kinda is. I'm ready for Cody to actually bring it when it comes to these promos. I know he's dealing with heel Rock, but at least against Roman, have something. He's really been getting scorched in all of these promos, and like Seth's been taking some type of shots back and forth, but this should be about Cody, and Cody has not really brought it as far as the trash talk goes. And I've kinda been wanting more from the baby faces like you shouldn't be able to only talk crazy because you're a heel but here's the one thing that really drove me crazy cody reaches in for a handshake 
and Roman turns around and walks away and then calls out the boys and oh surprise Cody also has backup. The reason I'm upset is why did Cody reach out for a handshake? This man has made your life and people around you's lives miserable. For the past few years, he's disrespected your family, but yeah, let me shake his hand before we have another match. I just wish they weren't portraying Cody as such a gentleman, like you can still be angry and a good person. They're humiliating him and disrespecting him and his family on a weekly basis. This would be justifiable anger. They really want him to be the next John Cena and face of the company, and I feel like even Cena had moments where he was justifiably angry. Remember when Randy Orton kicked his dad in the head or when Edge slapped his dad? He literally threw Edge into a river. I'm not saying Cody has to go that far, but don't go in for a handshake. This is far past the point of just competition. The show ends with a standoff between the Bloodline and Seth, Cody, and Jay. And moving forward, I hope to see a lot more aggression from Cody. I'm actually going to be at Monday Night Raw in Chicago, so I'll be waiting for a response. And it's actually my first show in 10 years, so I'm hoping to have a great time. But that's it guys, like and subscribe if you're new, put your seatbelt back on, and until next time, keep it cosy.